So that covers almost all the news. One more topic for today. Then we'll get into the mining market. I still have one mining rig down. I thought I had it fixed yesterday. I guess I don't. We're going to have to like pull a GPU out. I think at this point, it looks like it's just not working. I'll have to bring it back here for testing. That being said, last topic of the day is coming from Coindesk. Bitmain backed BitFuFu abandons mining rigs in Kazakhstan to, due to power rationing. So let's get into this one. This was released this morning at 3.15 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, it says. BitFuFu is abandoning its mining rigs in Kazakhstan and buying new ones from Bitmain and setting them up in the U.S. After weeks of power rationing in the Central Asian country, BitFuFu told Coindesk on Thursday. So here's, mm, here's one of the things that just really gets my goat. You know what I mean? We're just a whole bunch of hardworking boys over here in the United States. We've been trying to get all of the mining equipment we can. And meanwhile, because of the partnerships with Bitmain, etc., BitFuFu can just abandon a ton of them and buy a bunch more and install them on our land. That's just, all right, we're done. <laughs> Obviously, the end there was just for fun. But Kazakhstan has been facing severe electricity shortages, partly because of the influx of crypto miners in the country, but also because of the pre-existing problems with its energy infrastructure. The national grid operator moved to ration electricity to crypto mines in September. In November, the Ministry of Energy assured the industry that the government won't restrict electricity to legal mines, but the rationing didn't stop. Last month, miner Zyv shut down a 2,500 rig facility in Kazakhstan because of energy shortages. Industry sources estimate legal mines with 200 to 500 megawatts of power have been cut off from the grid. BitFuFu's new machines have already arrived in the U.S., a company spokesperson told Coindesk. The company previously told users that it was facing delays taking the machines through customs and transporting them to the mines because of the Thanksgiving holiday. BitFuFu users have been watching their investments sit idly as the platform's Kazakhstan facilities are offline. One user told Coindesk that BitFuFu's machines have been completely offline for a little over one month, adding that he would leave the platform if it gave him his money back. Yeah, that's not happening, bro. That's not happening. Here's another thing that we got to go, Lee. Don't invest in other companies to invest in mining hardware for you. Buy the hardware yourself. Do the work yourself. If you're not willing to do the work yourself because it's too complicated or too stressful or you don't have the time for it, then don't do it. Because this is what happens if you trust other people with your mining equipment. Don't, just, ah, mm. be safe out there, boys. Another said that disruption started in mid-October and that they are worried but not angry at the service. Users who spoke to Coindesk refused to be named because their contracts with BitFuFu include anti-defamation clauses. The mining platform acknowledged the problem stemming from Kazakhstan's electricity rationing in an October 14th telegram message saying it would compensate users by extending their contract for as long as their machines are offline. According to the Financial Times estimates, BitFuFu has 80,000 rigs in Kazakhstan after moving there from China because of a government crackdown on crypto mining. A company spokesperson refused to comment on the estimate. The BitFuFu spokesperson told Coindesk that the company might try to sell its machines in Kazakhstan, but hasn't reached a decision yet. BitFuFu is a platform that enables users to invest in mining without having to operate the facilities. Operate your own facilities. Go into partnership with somebody. I don't know. Figure it out. Don't rent shit from people. All right, I'm done. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.